10 years of the PBR. Countless rides, many of them memorable, many of them great. But today, a first, as we count down the 25 best rides in PBR history. Legendary Cowboys, Legendary Bulls, and in the end, the greatest bull ride ever. Hold on to your seats, folks. PBR Total Bulls Top 25 Rides are next. Hi everyone, I'm Justin McKee and welcome to Total Bull. And we have a treat for you today. We're going to count down the top 25 bull rides in PBR history. And joining me is four-time bull riding world champion, Tough Hedeman. And Tough, there's been tens of thousands of bull rides in the 10-year history of the PBR. I know it's been kind of tough to uh, come up with the top 25. Well, what, what it starts with, it starts with a great bull and it finishes with making the whistle, riding for eight seconds, making a great ride. Sometimes, you know, for the most part, a guy has to have you know some control uh, but every now and then you'll see a guy just gut it out and find a way to make the whistle but you know I'm just glad I'm not judging but I know one thing we've seen a lot of great rides we have seen a lot of great rides and the panel of judges have worked long and hard to put together this comprehensive top 25 and if you don't agree with all of them well we sprinkled in a few of the others that just missed making the list but first here's J.W. Hart on Hollywood and J.W. keep his head down he can ride this book it's a great bull of a Hollywood Harrington Cow Company. There it is, to the right. There we go. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Don't quit. Out of one. Out of one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Show me the money, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. At number 24, here's Corey McFadden on the 2002 Bull of the Year Little Yellow Jacket. Yeah. Can he do it again? Oh, yeah. He's right. He's right. Champion bull. Come on, Corey. Come on, Corey. Yeah. I think Corey Mack has little yellow jacket's number Let's take a look at it again just a real good solid control ride Corey Mack just does an excellent job of just matching moves little yellow jacket moves he moves he just reacts let's go with his outside feet spurs a little bit what a bull ride number 23 Dusty LaBeth on promised land I mean, I mean the way this bull bucks and the way Dusty rides he's got a good shot I hope he goes left yeah it's a better bull to the left. Dusty's gonna ride him in his wheel. There you go. Look at here, look at him just shoving, standing on his hand, no problem. Oh yeah. Woo! Look at here. <laughs> He's, first. He's in the lead. Look at the score. 95 and a half points for Dusty LeBeth. Number 22 is one of my favorites of all time. Troy Dunn, at the age of 35, shows he can still get it done on prime time. Number 21, Lee Aiken on Perfect Storm. He's got a good chance. Look at that altitude. The focus explodes. Oh, look at the altitude. Lee Aiken, look at him back up, sucked back underneath himself. Lee Aiken goes all the way. Now that's something to get excited about. When we return, our countdown continues. But first, here's one that just missed a top 25. Stay with us. He's got a chance to make the whistle right here. Will it captain a consistency? Rides again. Will he become the first man to ride the legendary hammer? Holy cow, he's done it. The captain is back. The captain is back. Welcome back. Our countdown continues in a moment. But first, here's a quick look at how the top 25 rides were determined. Rides were not only ranked by the scores received in the arena, but also by significance, such as whether the ride was to win an event or if it was on a bull that had never been ridden. Those factors, as well as the benefit of hindsight, were used in shaping the order. Here now, at number 20, is Ty Murray on Blueberry Wine. Incidentally, this was the first time this little bull had ever been ridden. It's 92 and a half, Tommy. Oh, hit him on the gate. Oh, back it off the rope. He's back in the 
At number 19, Chris Shivers rides Clayton's pet to his first win of 2003. It's all the money you can get. Here he comes. Let's listen in. Number 18 in our countdown, Cody Hart on Moody Blues. Come on. Okay. Yeah. At number 17, Adriana Marias checks in with one of the highest scoring rides of his legendary career. Lightning strike, Will, lightning strike for this Brazilian. He's doing it. He's halfway through. He is going to last the eight seconds. And I think we have a chance in the leaderboard. And you can see right there why Adriana Marias is the only two time. World Champion. And at number 16, Jerome Davis rides the 1996 Bull of the Finals Strawberry Wine. Let's get it on, Gastro. 96 was a great year. Needs to spice up 97. Come on, uh, Jerome. Come on, Gastro. Keep it humping. Out of yes, sir. Pay the man. Oh, uh, my. Get up. Oh, boy. I threw my hat, too, Gastro. What a good bull ride that is. Hey, the bull ride. Now, that is, have you got any lead left in your grip? <laughs> We're nearly halfway through our countdown of the top 25 bull rides in PBR history and tough. We just watched Jerome Davis make a great ride on strawberry wine. Before that, it was Ty Murray on blueberry wine. Now, a lot of people thought the strawberry wine was the sire of blueberry wine, but when they DNA those great bulls, they found out, well, they that wasn't the case. Well, they're both great bulls. They both weren't very big. They had spots. They both had the last name of wine, so you'd assume that they, they were related, but just great bulls. And did you notice each guy in that package, they were a world champion, and you can certainly see why. Well, we told you at the top of our show it was going to be full of great matchups with superstar bulls and cowboys, and the best is yet to come. Up next, our countdown rolls on with Corey McFadden on Mossy Oak Mudslinger. This bull is totally electric. Here's a good draw. Come on, Corey McFadden. Sit up. Here we go. Round the map. Bring out a good seat. He's going to drift out across there, boys. We can have us another score here. That was as good a bull ride as you want to watch. That bull doesn't have the reputation of a Dillinger, and he rides better, not his rank. But he's going to be 90 something. You look back on the replay, Masio, real fast, a lot of timing, but you cannot make a better bull ride than that. Look at his upper body, look at his feet, everything working together. He's going to get a huge score, 95 and a half. He's going to put him in at 360 and a half. At number 14, it's world champion rider Edna Kaminius riding two time world champion bull Dillinger. Nobody tries any harder. He looks to the right. Now he goes to the left. Whoa, what oh, a no chance. Now he comes back right. riding. Edna, show me the money. Pay the man. Woo. Dillinger, Edna. Stand on the feet here in Georgia. Hit his hand a little harder. He just made a lie out of me. Yeah, if he goes left, he's got no chance. Okay, I said that before. It's a bull ride, boys. That bull is bucket. Oh, God, he's bucket. <laughs> Taking number 13, Troy Dunn becomes the first and only man to ride Rampage in 1998. This bull usually goes to the right. Look here. Hoppin' skipper. Coming left. Whoa! Now he's coming right. Look at his back. 
It's a bad jump right here. Now here's a real bad jump right there. And around to the right. You know, that's a great ride. Number 12, Justin McBride on Hollywood. Only a matter of time, and we've been saying you need to ride one when it counts. This will be one of those times. And he's got the talent. Check it out. Looks left, back, right. Justin, you got his feet. Got his feet pumping. Come on, Justin. Out of the Keep digging. Just don't. One more turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he might have just took the lead in his first butt like cup. And he can go pretty fast on his hands and knees, too. Hollywood will get on you like a duck on a gym bug. At number 11. Cody Custer and Red Wolf tie Troy Dunn and Rampage for the highest scoring ride of 1998. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Boy, he's going to hit himself. Come on, Cody. Bear down now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Incredible. Let's take another look at it, Donnie. Cranking her back right in the gate. Cody right there. You know, he hit the ground pretty hard earlier today. Boom to the left. Now watch this. Just hammer on this fool. Bucket fool of the year, 95.5. That's what I'm talking about. What a bull ride. When we come back, the top 10 rides of all time. But first, here's another ride that just missed our top 25. Yeah, last year. That's the kind of bull ride that can take you from being just a, you know, a wannabe champion to a real champion. Welcome back to PBR Total Bull. He's Tough Heatham and I'm Justin McKee and we're counting down the top 25 bull rides in PBR history. And the question on my mind and probably on the mind of a lot of folks watching Tough, what's your impression of how the judges are doing? Oh, I think they've done great. I mean, unbelievable ride so far. The only question I've got is, you know, where are some of my rides? Well, we're just down the top 10. That's where a guy like Tough Heatham belongs. So I think things are about to change. About time. <laughs> Here's Tuff Edelman on Nitro. Look at this. Come on, Tuff Monster. Get there. Round to the left. Oh, boys, watch this. Hurry oh, a little bit. Yeah. Okay, good job. Look at Tracy. Tracy. He's going, okay, Tuff, trying to get up and walk. Can't do that. He's chewing gum. In the number nine spot, the king of the rodeo cowboys, Ty Murray rides Red Wolf at the 1999 World Finals. Oh, man. Come on, Tony. 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 Come on, Looked like he was behind. You watch this bull. He pulls him down. His foot just hits him in the tail, but he just keeps spurned and never give up. And that is that is all that matters in bull riding. And he's going to get a big score. And I'm glad I'm not judging. Me too. I guarantee you. It's coming up. That is five point five and a half. Number eight, Gilbert Carrillo on Perfect Storm. Oh yeah, he's going to get out. Go. Get I didn't think he would. Whoa, whip him around. Come on, stay in there, Gilbert. Yes, sir. Right here, pump it in his hand. Grab him, no problem. Hit the gate. Yep. Good young bull right there. Perfect storm with Chad Hagen. People on their feet. Standing ovation. At number seven, Lonnie Steverson turns in the PBR's first ever 96-point ride. Come on, Lonzo. Let's get it going. Man, he is rocking and rolling. Come on, Lonzo. Yeah. Come on, Lonnie. Keep pumping. Look at him keep his head down. What a great ride. Right there. Look at this boy. 96. That might be one of the highest scores we've ever had. 
That is a high score. All right. Look at that. See, he keeps his head down. Keeps driving that right shoulder to the hall oh, four. At number six, Chris Shivers on Trick or Treat. Exciting as it gets, but this bolt gets it on to the left. You know, Chris is just right in the middle. What's what, what's most impressive is when he goes back to the right. It wasn't an accident that he rode it. You know, he was down and he was moving and doing the kind of things that you have to do to ride a bull like that. 96 points is total 176 and a half. Chris Shivers. When we return, the five greatest rides ever. You're watching PBR Total Bull. Welcome back to PBR Total Bull. Ross won $100,000 on that ride. It's the richest eight seconds in bull riding history. But even that wasn't good enough to make the top 25. We're getting ready for the top five, Tough, and I know I have a favorite. How about you? Well, every time I think of great rides, I think of Chris Shivers, but the one ride that stands out in my mind is Bubba Dunn on Promised Land. I, just head and shoulders above anyone. Well, here they are, everybody. The five greatest rides in PBR history. And Norman's been there, done that. He is on Hollywood. Gotta be 93 yes. and a half a minute. Here we go. Snatching the number four spot, Gilbert Carrillo wins in Albuquerque on Blueberry Wine. Blueberry Wine, not the biggest hanger, back to the smallest boat, might be the fiercest. Blueberry Wine, Gilbert Carrillo. That is unbelievable. A 12-year professional career for Gilbert Carrillo on one of the biggest rides of his life. Blueberry Wine, Gilbert Carrillo, this is going to be huge. And it doesn't get any better than that. Gilbert Carrillo's been on Blueberry three times. The last time he rode him about seven seconds, and he just gets it on, and you're not going to see a bull spin any faster, buck any harder, turn it back to the right. And when they go to the right and they buck hard, they cannot buck off Gilbert Carrillo. At number three, Chris Shivers tames the legendary Dillinger and turns in a 96.5. He got a good start and a good turn. Dillinger having a nice trip for him. Good turn, come on, Chris, get up! Tell you, he had to ride in the last round without a rope, so I think we get to watch yeah. this back. You get a world champion guy, a world champion bull, and you're all yeah. the game bang, and they both come out swinging, and Chris Shiver just made a great, great He'll have ride. a great score. I hope on the Telestrator, you guys are back in there watching about seven seconds. I want to stop the movie right about here now, man. And at number two, Chris Shivers on Jim Jam. As good as he's riding, don't you dare count him out. Bull spin either way. I think he's ranked going to the left. Let's see what he does. Going to the right. Ah, good job right there. Good seat. Good seat. Stay with him. Don't quit. Don't quit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think he made it. Oh, yeah. He does, too. Jim Jam. Who was that? 
<laughs> this Watt says this is a great ride. This bull's bucking. That's a great ride. Oh. That's a great ride. 96 and a half Time's points. The record. Time's the record with Bubba Dunn. 96 and a half. That great ride. And the greatest bull ride ever. Bubba Dunn on the PBR's all-time high money bull, Promised Land. There's not going to be anybody hanging on any tighter than Bubba Dunn. But the other thing about Bubba, when this bull turns back, he's going to open up. That'll help Bubba ride this bull. Gonna go left, wave his hand. Bubba likes that. Come on. Oh, yeah. Going to the neck. That a boy. Come on, Bubba. Don't quit. Look at this. Yeah. yeah. Show me the money. I'm telling you. Oh, oh boy. Oh, yeah. Look at that big old bull. I mean, this bull's got muscles in his ears. Man. What a ride. Now, judges, now we can have us a 90-something. Yeah, 96 and a half points. A total of 264 and a half. Wow. You don't ride. Look at this. I mean, check it out. Free hand. I remember being there watching that ride and thinking to myself, that is a ride I will never forget. Well, Promised Land just kept getting stronger every jump. And, you know, I've never seen a guy ride a rank bull with so much authority and so much aggressiveness. If that's not a perfect ride, I don't know what is. Cody Lambert was the unofficial judge on the back of the shoots. He actually marked the ride 98 points. Well, we hope you enjoyed our countdown of the top 25 bull rides of all time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Ride that thing. Ride that thing. Ride that thing.